What is up, guys? Welcome to episode four of The Post. Last night, we had a panel, and this week, we're just going to break it down a little bit more. You know, that's what we do here at The Post. But jumping into the first question, this one's going to be a little fun. Uh, what's your favorite thing about the Halloween season? Uh, man, my favorite thing about Halloween. I know it sounds basic. I like pumpkin spice stuff. You like pumpkin? Oh, he's the basic white girl. I, mean, I, I like pumpkin spice. <laughs> I like pumpkin rolls. I like pumpkin bread. I like pumpkin pie. Oh, I love pumpkin. <laughs> I, I like pumpkin too. Yeah. I like my mom's pumpkin rolls. I've talked about those a few times, man. Yeah. They're so good. I'm still waiting on some, mom. You need to come through. Come on. Let's go. But going on <laughs> in to the second question, we're going to get a little bit more serious here. Uh, from this series, uh, I know you studied for this series. Uh, what's been the one thing that has helped you the most? Um, I know we haven't specifically talked about it necessarily, but it's been kind of like the overarching question um, with talking about how are you spiritually, how are you emotionally, how are you mentally, how are you relationally. Mm -hmm. And every single one, it's how are you. So yeah. for me, um, something that I've learned personally with walking through it is um, I need to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm a person that likes to help others. I'm a helper. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just how I am. I want to care for other people. And uh, But I had to notice that if I don't take care of myself, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to care for other people either. For sure. uh, just like if you're sick um, and you don't go to the doctor, mm -hmm. it's going to take you a little bit. Um, yeah. If you're sick and you try to uh, play a game, unless you're Jordan, flu game. He <laughs> flu game, let's good. go. No, He's but like uh, if uh, he is the go. He is the go. He is the go. Like there's no talk. Yeah, LeBron said no. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but if even Jordan got pumped with fluids, you know what I'm saying? Like he mm -hmm. knew he was sick. Someone told him he was yeah. sick that – a lot of times with us, we don't really take care of ourselves, and mm -hmm. we um, kind of run on E for a while, and yeah. then eventually it just stops. And uh, so for me, I, I had to learn, and I did learn, that, hey, I, I need to take care of myself. Um, and so that was really big for me. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, I've been listening to a podcast here recently, and they were talking about that. They like, a lot of times we ask, how are you in passing? And it's like, People just settle for the answer, oh, I'm good, when you're actually going through something. Yeah. And, like, one of the guys on the podcast, he was like, I was actually at one of my worst points as far as, like, struggling with depression. He was like, and I honestly didn't know if I could live another day. And he was like, I just started, like, looking back, and it's like, I wasn't really struggling with depression. I was struggling with discipline. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you're really struggling with that, it's like, what are you doing? Are you reading your Bible? Are you doing the health thing? Are you eating right? Yeah. Are you working out? Are you doing those things that your body's meant to do? Mm -hmm. So this is really good to think about. It's like, it may not be, you may be struggling with depression, but it's like, it's one of those basic things. It's like, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. like, so just looking back at that, it's so good. And last night we talked about like healthy relationships. Uh, what are three things that you personally look for in a friendship? Uh, yeah, for me, uh, uh, I mean, I'm going to give you just some advice here. <laughs> if they uh, love God, love the local church, yep. and they love you, man, that's pretty good for a, a checklist of yep. having a friend. So those are three things I would definitely say um, because at the end of the day, uh, I know we talked about it a little bit. A lot of times we base our friendships off of uh, a sport mm -hmm. or what we like and yep. things like that. But at the end of the day, uh, I know some things that I liked in middle school and high school, I don't like anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't uh, ball up anymore unless it's at the wreck sometimes whenever yeah. it's open. You know but you know, saying? COVID's got that place <laughs> shut down. Come but, on. But like, there's times you're going to walk off that field for the last time, walk off the court for the last time. Um, there's times where you're going to uh, stop doing that activity. You're, mm -hmm. You may even stop liking something. Uh, so it, it's going to it changes. Um, so really having that foundation mm -hmm. 
of a friendship that's really important, but also at the same time, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I have friends that um, aren't Christians. I have friends that don't go to church. I mean, yeah. uh, and I'm sure you do as well if you're watching this or listening to this. And, um, and it's in those friendships, though, that something that I look for honestly is um, someone who loves me for me. Mm -hmm. And I know like it, it goes with love God, uh, love the church, and then love you, but mm -hmm. have someone that respects you, yeah, uh, that loves you for you, and uh, will be there for you. Mm -hmm. um, I know, like I said, I have friends that don't go to church, that aren't saved, yeah. um, and I may not necessarily... Uh, take everything that they tell me and apply it to my life. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do um, appreciate the advice they give me. Mm -hmm. I know that they're there for me. And like I said, I know that they respect me. Uh, and they're not going to ask me to do something that I wouldn't do as a Christian. Mm -hmm. They're not going to ask me to go somewhere I wouldn't go as a Christian. They're, yeah. They respect me. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I know it's more than three, but... <laughs> hey. We always love some good advice there. And to kind of wrap up this series, Vitals, man, it's been so good. It's honestly helped me a lot. But if you had to sum up this entire series in one thought, one sentence, what would it be? I would say, and we've talked about it, um, but I would say that your health is more than just being alive. Mm. Um, and... I think a lot of times um, that we're breathing, but we're not really living. Yeah. And a lot of times we uh, get caught up in just uh, going through the motions. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not a fun place to be. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would say it's, um, it's more than just being alive, mm -hmm. but it's truly experiencing the better life uh, that God has for you. Yeah. And uh, that's just by... Uh, listening to his word mm -hmm. and not just listening, but like being obedient to it. Yeah. Like walking it out. I know we talked about it uh, quite a bit, but uh, really pouring into your relationship with God. Yeah. Um, and getting in his word, talking to him, surrounding yourself with people uh, that are going in the same direction with you as you uh -huh. uh, and with you. And um, just coming in closer connection with God mm. is just so important. Um, but yeah. That's Man, good. that's so good. Uh, as we've been ending all of the posts here, uh, anything else you want to add? Man, I want to say thank you all <laughs> for jumping into the post. Uh, if you haven't watched our previous messages, uh, check them out. Uh, last night... Man, it was a scary good time. It was a scary good time. Uh, HHP. That's right, yeah. HHP. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a, we had a good time at HHP uh, last night. But uh, drop in the comments, what are some questions that you all may have? What are some things you want to see us doing? What do you want us to talk about in the post? And, hey, you never know. If you have a question for us, it may be the That's question right. we ask next That's right. week. You never know. It could be a lot of fun. So let us know. Uh, but then also, I just want to encourage you all, hey, check on yourself mm -hmm. and also allow people uh, to speak into your life. Uh, a lot of times I may not notice if I'm not doing OK mm -hmm. uh, because I'm so caught up in going through the motions. But uh, have those people that love you, love God, love the local church, allow them to speak into your life. And whenever they say, hey, man, I think something's up, listen to them. That's, uh, right. that's one last thing. I would just like to encourage y'all with that, hey, take advice. Mm -hmm. uh, don't be so caught up in being okay when you're yeah. not okay. Man, that's so good, man. This series has been amazing. Like you were saying, I encourage you to go back, check it out. Man, it's been so good for me, and I know it has been for you as for well. Sure. But, guys, this is the end of episode four of The Post. We'll see you all here next week.